Hey guys, it's Joe from JoeLevi.com. Today I'd like to show you the Google Nexus One Desktop Dock. Now, that's an awfully long title for a very simple device. Basically, you've got this little dock that gets power via a included micro USB cord and charges up your Google Nexus One when it's sitting in the dock. So let's go through and uh, I'll show you all of the uh, the little bells and whistles that come with this and uh, tell you a couple things that I don't like about it and uh, we'll go from there. So first and foremost, this little puppy comes with the dock, the micro USB power cable. Now that's an important thing. This is a power cable, not a micro USB cable. And the instructions tell you do not connect this dock to a computer via a micro USB cord. Don't know why, but it does. Also comes with this little guy. That is a RCA jack on one end, right and left audio. And then we've got a little headphone jack in the back. So that's kind of cool. In the back here, you've got headphone jack where that plugs in. Of course, you don't need to use the included cable, but they have it so you can hook it up to your stereo if you want. Kind of cool. Little look closer, down here we've got those three magic little metal dots. That's what everybody's calling them because they really are kind of fun and magic. So let me show you over here on a Nexus One. On the bottom you'll notice that micro USB connector port, which is great. You can use the cord that comes with the dock to directly connect and charge your Nexus One without going through the dock. Fabulous. You'll also see your microphone hole over there on the right, and then mating little three dots. Those little metal dots right there are made just for docking. So let's go ahead and drop this in, and you'll see what I mean. You just slide it down in place. It's important to, to note here, this is a very tight fit. Um, you can't have any kind of case on it, or it just won't fit into that dock. Kind of lame, I know, but since I don't use this Nexus One with a dock right now, it's really not that big a deal. Second, this little lip right here is just barely enough to hold it in place. It can slip out really easily. So, advantage, you're not going to worry about scratching up your Nexus or, or breaking anything off. Disadvantage, it doesn't hold it really tight. So, there you go. Now, let's see what it does. Uh, I've kind of been going back and forth here a bit. So this is my Nexus One. We'll drop it down in place. And you'll notice that it slipped right out that time. Put it back in. And immediately the display switches over to this docked view, for lack of a better term. Um, you'll also notice right up here, see my little Bluetooth icon? Yes, it just paired to the base. So the audio is going from the phone to the base via Bluetooth. And the first time you dock this up, it'll ask you if you want to port all of your audio through to the base or not, or through to the dock or not. Um, you can go into your settings and change that back if you decide you don't like it later on. But in the meantime, now, if I come into my music app, which you get from pressing that little music icon right there, and I could play, say, Creep by the Northern Kings, and I'll make sure that I don't uh, have any problems here, you can't hear it. Okay, why not? It's going through the base, through the dock, via Bluetooth. Kind of neat. You don't have to worry about having all of those connectors like the iPhone or the Zune or the iPod Touch have to connect down into the bottom because this connection is being done all through Bluetooth. All those dots that are there for two things. Number one, to give power to the device obviously, so you can charge. Number two is somehow, and it's probably through that Bluetooth, but it could be through a configuration of the dots. We don't really know. Um, it tells the device what it is. I think that's through the Bluetooth profile, so we're just going to go with that. Now, what do I mean it tells the device what it is? Right now, there's only one dock available, and that's this one from Google. You can get it by going to google.com slash phone. It's 50 bucks. Pretty spendy for a dock and a cable, but nonetheless, 
This doesn't have any way to, to mount into a car. This is only a desktop dock. The car dock is quote unquote coming soon, not yet available, but it does have, the, the car dock has something interesting. That being a different view. So today, since we're talking about the desktop dock, I will tell you about the desktop dock view. And I'll have to show you that car dock view sometime later on. So I've just docked it again and right away you can see my live wallpaper is showing up. Uh, whatever live wallpaper or whatever wallpaper you have uh, set on your phone is what it's going to display here. It's also showing me the time in the format that I selected, 24 hour clock in this case, the day and the date, and then it's also showing me my uh, geolocated weather along with the current temperature, the high and the low. Right now the high apparently is a hyphen. It also shows me that I have 86% battery and that I am currently charging, so that's great. Also, you've got this little button up here to help dim the screen. Tap it once, the screen goes dim, the information bar at the top goes away. This, the instructions say, are so you can use it on a nightstand and it won't keep you up all night with the Nexus very, very bright backlight. Tap it again and it resumes to your default brightness setting. So that's great. Home button takes you back to the home screen of the Nexus. Fair enough. Music I just showed you. This is your media gallery. So it will show you a, uh, basically just a, a screenshot, or excuse me, a, uh, I can't even think of the word right now, a slideshow. That's what it is of all of your stuff. Now I've got obviously blurry images here because I don't want you seeing all of my family and whatnot. So we'll go back and do that by tapping the back button. Last but not least, and this is probably one of the main reasons for having a desktop dock, is the alarms app. Tap the alarms and it'll show you, you can add an alarm and it'll show you what alarms you have set right now, whether they're on or off, and then repeats the time. To get into this, tap the alarm, turn it on, tap the alarm, turn it off. One nice thing about the Alarms app with Android, tap the alarm and it tells you when that alarm is scheduled to go off. So I just set my alarm for 9 a.m., but only 9 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. So it's not gonna come on for another five days, 17 hours and 45 minutes. So I know if I've hit the right one or not. So that is it, the Google Nexus One desktop dock first look. Uh, I'll let you know what I think about it and I will keep you informed about the car dock when it makes its debut. For JoeLevi.com, I am Joe Levi.